Hey ladies, this is Fumi from freespiritofumi.com and this is part two in my video series basically talking about the tricks that men use or just dating tips in general dealing with men because um, my other video, How to Marry Internationally, was so popular. Okay, um, so part two. When you're dating, and this is how us women, we really have to learn how when to lean back. The biggest issue I see with women is that we deal with our emotions and everything. We make decisions with our emotions way too much. It's like, we'll go to work, we'll be logical. We'll pay our bills, we'll be logical. Then we'll start dating and we're totally illogical. We need to step away from our emotions more. And it's like, oh, this relationship is romance. No, you need to start handling these men like with the same seriousness as a job in your mind. Now, don't tell them this. Definitely act, you know, nice and smile and seem feminine, you know, but don't on the inside. Keep everything on the inside. So this is what guys do. This is what I've seen guys do and guys tell me that they do to women. What guys do is they know women like to talk, right? So a lot of times guys like to talk a lot, actually. Like my husband, I see him with his male friends. They're talking and da 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 I used to think it was only women who gossip and talk. No, my husband talks all the time with his friends all the time. And what they do is they get you to run your mouth a lot on the first date, on, on dates. Their goal is to make it easier for them. See, while you're running your mouth and he's tuning in and out of your conversation, because even I, my attention span got a lot shorter after marriage. Like, just, you know. But what the guys do is they get you to ask you a bunch of questions to get you to run your mouth. So... And here's one good, here's one thing. If a man asks you what kind of, what's your type of man or what kind of guy you're looking for, lie or don't tell him. Lie, do both. This is how many guys figure out how to act in order to appeal to you. So if you say, I like men who do this, I like men who do that, he's going to pretend to do this and do that. From now on, when you go on dates, tell the guys, they ask you what's your type and say, oh, I'm very eclectic. I like many different men. I don't have a type. And he says, well, what kind of guys do you go for? Where your exes are? Never talk about your exes. Never talk about what type of guy your exes was. Never talk about anything dealing with the past. Never talk about a type. You don't have a type. Just tell him straight up. I say, you know what? Like I said, like I said, repeat yourself. Smile. Like I said, I don't have a type. I don't go for any type of guy. In fact, you know, we're on a date, right? We're dating each other. I don't have any kind of type to tell you. I am just here to get to know you as a man. I want to know who you are as a man. I'm not here to have a little type that you need to fall into you don't need to fall into anything i'm just i just like you to be yourself smile there you go done don't and if he keeps pushing they try to get you to tell him enjoy your food and don't talk to him again because no guy should be that pushy don't tell him your type don't tell him what kind of men you dated then you know say well i don't focus on the past then you know i dated many i'm very i dated many types of guys like well it's not important I'm not worried about them. I'm here on a date with you. I want to get to know you. Push it back on them. Focus on the fact that you're here in the present. Don't do that. So what they do, like I said, they try to figure out what you like. Okay, so the men, like I said, they're asking you a lot of questions. Ladies, I know you like to talk, but on dates, no. Watch out for that. Watch out for dates. Where you have to, it's a lot of silence and you have to constantly talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. Um, make sure that you guys don't answer too many questions. If you start to get to the point in the date where he's like, where are you from? What do you do? Blah, 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 blah. Be sweet and be like, you know what? You know, I know this is our first date and we want to get to know each other, but you know, I'm tired of those kind of dates. How about we be different? How about we do something different? And he's like, really? What do you mean? You know, let's not, you know, I mean, we know the basics. You know my name. You know where I work. You know that. Don't let him ask you all these questions about on the first date. Like, have like a certain amount of questions. Don't let him ask you too many questions because you need to be mysterious. He needs to work to find out stuff about you. It's a privilege to know stuff about you. If Outside of what you do for a living, your name where you live, maybe one or two of your hobbies, that's about it. He doesn't need to know anything else. You need to be mysterious. And the moment he starts, you know what I'm saying, asking more, just say, you know what, just be sweet and coy about it. You know what, we can, you know, we can talk about that later. You know, because men want to please you on dates. They want to please you. They want to make you happy. And everything, don't sound defensive. Just be like, you know, that's a good question. 
You'll find out in time. Let's just enjoy each other's company today. Or how about we do something different? How about we go hike? You know what I'm saying? Like, be slick about it. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't answer these questions because what they do is they want to know as much as, as they can about you. So then they'll go home, even they'll call up their friends and they'll pick out how can I strategize to get this woman? Most men only want sex. If you're not dating for marriage, his whole goal was just to have sex with you. I'm sorry. I'm going to be 100% honest with you. If you are not in the part where you're dating for marriage and the man you're with is not ready to get married, their, their only goal is to sleep with you. That is their only goal. Men who are not getting married, their only goal is to have sex. That's it. And they're like, oh, well, he spends time with me. He doesn't treat me like a sex object. This is one of the biggest things that women don't know about guys. And that we think it's, it's not just about sex. Because a man will treat you very well, but he'll never want to be in a relationship with you. He'll never want to marry you. This is one of the biggest things that we don't talk about. I focus on energy so much because I realize how much energy, masculine and feminine energy is. Men just want feminine energy. That's all it is. That's all you are. Women are loving. Think about it. Think about it. You're like, oh man, I don't know why I can't find a good guy. I treat men so well, but it never works out. Think about that, right? You're sweet, you're beautiful, you're kind. How was your day? Can I help you? Oh, you're hungry? I'll cook you some food. Oh, come over to my house. My house is clean. It smells good. I look pleased. So basically, you women, we make everything better. We're, we're beautiful. We're like pieces of art. We make our house beautiful, clean, smell good, fresh. We, we have fun. We encourage men. We, we, we support men. We're like, yes, I believe in you. I believe in your dreams. All that feminine energy makes men feel great. It feels great to have that kind of feminine energy. Great. And that's what men need. Men need feminine energy, whether they're even if you're not married, if they're married or single or whatever. Men in general like feminine energy. So many of you ladies, you're treating these guys, you're giving them all this great treatment, and they, but they really don't give a fuck about you. And you're like, why? Or sometimes they act like they do, right? They act like they do. And you think, oh, we're, we're going somewhere. He's really just, he really just wants feminine energy. He's, he has the money, he's working, he's building himself up, and he wants sex and feminine energy. He wants to feel, and he wants to feel like somebody believes in him. He wants someone to hold him sometimes too. He wants a good meal every now and then. He doesn't want to have to go to mom's. All he wants is your feminine energy. Just because a guy, you know, treats you well doesn't mean he wants to be with you. Just because a guy said, and this is the thing. Guys will tell women what they want to he hear, like, oh, I want to get married one day. I want to have a relationship one day when I meet the right woman. If he's not talking about you, don't. Who cares? I want to get married one day. So you're like, oh, yeah, so if I get in a relationship, he's going to marry me. No. If a man does not say, I want to marry you one day, or I could see myself marrying you one day, or I would like to get married, or maybe we could, we could, you know, we're doing this for marriage, or I, I want to be in a relationship with you. I could see myself in a relationship with you. Really, I want a relationship with you. If he doesn't say, I want a relationship with you, or I want marriage with you, if with you is not, if with you is not in that sentence, and some of them won't lie, but I'm just saying for the basics. If he's not saying that he wants that with you, do not care about anything else he says. It does not matter if he wants children. It does not matter if he wants a marriage because none of that is with you. You need to only be worried about what is with you and what is not with you. So keep your mouth closed and pay attention to what he says about marriage and relationships being with you, not in general. Um, yeah. No. Okay. This is something that I, you know, recommend women to do. Don't, don't drink on the first date. Don't have any alcohol on the first day. Don't get no wine. Don't get any, you know, don't, don't. If you lie, like straight up tell them like, oh, I don't drink. This is my recommendation and it's going to be extreme for some. I would recommend that you do not drink any alcohol when dating. Don't drink any alcohol. Don't drink any wine. Don't. If he does order it for you and you don't want to sound rude or just say, oh, you know what? I had a headache or something or I had to take some prescribed medication for something like, oh, just like a head, just something. Make up an ex a medical excuse as for why you cannot drink alcohol. Like, oh, this is so unsafe. You know, it's unsafe for me to drink because I had this and I could get really sick. And you say, oh, no problem. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to order it for you. You say, no problem. You can get to the date and you didn't drink any alcohol. Now, then. You know, at the end of the day, once you've left the restaurant, be like, oh, well, you know, oh, that drink you look, looked good. You know, 
thank you for ordering it from me. But, you know, but, you know, I guess it is good that I had that medication because actually, I don't know if you know this, but I don't drink alcohol on dates. I don't. I like to be, you know, I, I don't, I don't like to be too, you know, relaxed. I like to be able to talk, you know, like don't drink. Like my recommendation, don't drink on dates. And if you are going to drink, don't drink on the first date at all. At least the first date. Can you do that for me, some of you alcoholics? Don't drink on the first date or don't drink until you've dated for at least a couple of months. Why? Because too many women just you just get too no you want to be alert because like i said guys are going to be coming you have the psychology pimps who are going to be coming they're going to be trying to get you to run your mouth and i noticed that when we drink we tend to babble 10 times more stop drinking um okay i, I had to write this down because i've seen oh my gosh i don't even know if i want to okay i'm gonna i'm gonna go through one more point and i'm gonna go the last video is gonna wrap it up so religious whores I've met and I've had friends. These are friends. And this is not just about me dating guys. No, I'm married now, but I have male friends and religious whores, men who are super Christian, super Muslim, who are whores. They do not practice what they preach. I gone to college with guys who are in Christian fraternities. They go to church every, every Sunday. They know their Bible backwards, whatever. Muslim men. And especially watch out for the Muslim men. And my husband's Muslim and I love him, but he's he's on a different, he's, he's quality. All the other Muslim guys, I know Muslim men who purposely only mess with Christian and Jewish girls to sleep with them. Like, they just view you guys as easy whores. Like, when Muslim women, you know, not all, but in general, most Muslim women are encouraged to be virgins. Most, especially if they're African, encouraged to be virgins. So they'll sleep with all of you ladies, but then when they want a woman with dignity, they'll marry a Muslim woman. So it's like, yeah, watch out for that. But most, I wouldn't recommend any woman that's not Muslim be with a Muslim man anyway. I mean, I know that sounds weird, like, but you're with a Muslim guy. Yeah, but he's, he's rare. <laughs> he's, he's, he's rare. They're very, it's very rare. But, um, I wouldn't wait. I wouldn't. It's just to me. Mm -hmm. But as for the Christian men, as for the Christian men, cause most, you know, most of you ladies are black like me and most of you date black men um and but this could be any guy watch out just because and this is the biggest thing we have got to stop as women stop making these associations because of this this must be it. it's kind of like when people say oh i'm not racist because my friend is black i have black friends no you can be racist and have black friends you can be racist and be married to a black person you can be racist and have a black sister-in-law it doesn't matter people many of us have european heritage because of slavery because racist white men had sex with black female slaves but then does that make sense you're you have a plantation of slaves why would you be having sex with da -da -da? doesn't make sense does it because the world does not make sense and things happen all the time that don't make sense so do not think because a man worships god do not think because a man goes to church do not think because he knows his bible and this is the thing i was talking with a guy and one of the first things i asked him we were associates i said oh what's your spiritual system because some people aren't religious, some people are spiritual. He said he was a Christian. I said, oh, okay. I said, are you a practicing Christian? Because I had to ask that. Are you a practicing Christian? He said, yes. He said, I haven't been to church in a while, but I'm a practicing Christian. And I said, oh, don't worry. Just because you go to church does not mean you're practicing. And he said, yeah, I'm a practicing Christian. And, um, yeah, I love God. And I love my church. And I love God. And I love da 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 Whore. Wouldn't touch him with a foot wouldn't even totally no. I wouldn't wish him on my worst enemy because to me he's a health risk. Health risk. Disgusting. And I have a friend, and a former friend, we're not friends anymore. <laughs> he has a thing for married women. So when I got married, my husband's like, no. So another friend, he's a very I mean, seriously, on his Facebook, Jesus every day. Everything's about Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. He's disgusting. He sleeps with married women. He cheats on all of his girlfriends. He he's 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 an adulterer. He purposely he has a thing for women in relationships, especially married women. He's a straight up adulterer. But he has, the, and this is the thing, men tend to guard their reputation a lot more than women. Most of these guys are going to be well-liked. These religious whores I'm telling you about are going to be well-liked. They're going to dress well. They're going to be popular. And the thing is, you're not going to know their, many of these guys, you're not going to know they're, they're not going to, this is the thing, I was his friend. So these religious whores, a lot of guys guard the reputation. So until you're one of the women who've been dogged by him, and some of these girls still don't know. Some of these girls still don't even know that they were cheated on. And I know. 
as a, as his former friend. The, I know so many of his girlfriends don't even know he was sleeping with like five women. So these religious whores have perfect reputations. And you may end up with one and you may not even know. You may not even know. But you really got to watch out. I'm, I'm going to go into that. Watch out for men who have a lot of female, heterosexual men who have a lot of female friends. Heterosexual men who have a lot of female friends usually tend to sleep with them. When you meet a guy who has a lot of female friends, a lot, you need to ask him, who have you slept with? And then you have to ask him, have any of these women ever wanted to be with you or liked you? Why is that a good question? If he has six or seven female friends and he slept with some of them or he slept with none, but at some point he has, they have wanted to be with him or he has wanted to be with them and they have that energy, that friendship, but that energy, I will sleep with you. And he has a lot of women like that. He has a lot of women like that, that he's either slept with or he, he has, he, they, they, or he, well, they'll try to lie to you and they'll try to say, oh well, yeah, she likes me, but I don't like her. Men lie all the time, all the time. Most of the time, if a woman likes a woman likes him and he keeps a whole bunch of ha a harem of women who like him around, that's usually just because he just wants random women around. So when he gets ready, he can sleep with her and he can sleep with her. Watch out for that. But um, these religious men, no. Like, do not think because they love God, they do not love you. They do not. And they do not practice what they preach. It doesn't matter if they volunteer. I know guys who they're, they, like, reputation... 100% squeaky clean and they are disgusting they do not abide they lie they cheat they steal other women from men they don't they just they have no family values at all now I'm gonna end this video I have one more video coming up one more video um and this is the last video for this series um based off of like just general guy advice this is like a little girl talk because I I literally had a conversation last night, so check out the third video, part three. I'm gonna probably gonna main, I'm probably gonna name this video like tricks and menus, part one, part two, part three, and I'm gonna put it on my page um, on Facebook, Black Women Moving On, so like my page. Um, so yeah, this is for me from freespiritforme.com. Yeah, like it, this may, may not apply to you ladies, but if you know some stupid girlfriends, they're like kind of stupid. They just make do make stupid decisions, and you tell them over and over again. Sometimes they have to hear it from a stranger, and they'll listen. But yeah, I'm gonna end this video. So have a great day. Watch out for part three of this video series.